Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. Now in this video, I'm going to start the problems on advanced aspect of income tax subject. Already last two videos, I have explained you in detail regarding the provisions of Income Tax Act regarding advanced aspects of income tax. In this subject, the first topic is PGBP, Profits and Gains of Business and Profession. So in this unit, unit number one, two topics are there, valuation of stock and depreciation. So these two topics, what are the provisions regarding Income Tax Act? I have explained you in detail in the last two videos. Remember, all the problems are based on the provisions of Income Tax Act. So before watching this video, you must have the complete command on the provisions of Income Tax Act which I've explained in the last two videos. So go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject advanced aspect of income tax, watch the first two videos, be thorough on all the provisions, then you can easily understand. Without watching that, you cannot be able to understand the problems. That is the first thing you have to remember. Now, before starting the problems, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems, which I have given in the link under my description. So take a printout and keep it ready before start watching this video. And next one is, I have started a new channel by name Hans Accounting Institute. This channel I have made only for IGCSE students. If in your group any students are there of IGCSE, you can suggest that channel. And even you too can visit the channel Hans Accounting Institute and subscribe my channel. So before starting this problems, take a screenshot of the notes, which uh, solution which I have written on the board so that you can make a hard copy of all the solutions. Then I'll explain. Now, come on students, now we'll start the first problem. The first problem is regarding valuation of stock. Before starting the problem, I explain you the provisions of Income Tax Act regarding valuation of stock. Remember, closing stock is very, very essential for finding out the income of the year and also for financial position. So for calculating the profit earned during the year, we must know what is the correct value of closing stock. So Income Tax Act has given the provision, the closing stock will be the lower of the cost price or market price. The lower of cost price and market price should be taken as the value of stock. That is the provision of Income Tax Act. Now see the first problem. Mr. Mahesh is in the business course of purchase and sale of products. Compute the value of closing stock from the following information. So in this problem, we have to calculate what is the value of closing stock. The items are given P, Q, R, S, T. Five items are given. For each item, we are given the cost price and we are given the market value. So we compare this cost price and market value, whichever is lower that should be taken. Right? The first P item. For P item, 40,000 cost price, 44,000 market price, whichever is lower, 40,000 is lower. Second, Q, cost price, 12,000, market price, 20,000, 12,000 is lower. R, 18,000, 18,000, both are equal, so same 18,000 will take. S, 25,000 cost price and 23,000 market value, so we take market value, 23,000. T, 49,000 cost price, 55,000 market price, whichever is lower, 49,000. So here the solution will be like this. Mr. Mahesh, item, cost price will be denoted as A, market value is denoted as B. And the value of stock is A or B, whichever is lower. So I have taken all the items given in the problem. The cost price are given, market price are given. Simply I compare the cost price with the market price, whichever is lower, I will take. So 40,000 is the lower, 12,000 is lower, 18,000 same, 23,000 is lower, 49,000 is lower. Take the total, 
142,000 is the value of stock, closing stock for Mr. Mahesh. That's it. <coughs> now next, second problem. Mr. Jagadish Reddy was in the business of edible oil. Details relating to the opening stock, purchases and sales during the year and the market value of closing stock on 31st March 2021 are given. Compute the value of closing stock. So again we have to find out the closing stock. But the new point in this problem is the cost price is not given. Items are given groundnut oil, soya oil, sunflower oil, palm oil. The four types of oils are given. Opening stock is given, purchases are given, cost of sales are given, market value is given. For finding out the closing stock, we must take cost price or market price, whichever is lower. The market price is given, but the cost price is not given. So we have to calculate the cost price. How to calculate the cost price? Opening stock plus purchases minus cost of sales. Cost of sales are given. So opening stock plus purchases minus cost of sales. What you get is cost price. So here you can see Mr. Jagdish Roddy item. Four types of oils are there. Groundnut oil, soya oil, sunflower oil, palm oil. Then opening stock values are given. Purchases values are given. Cost of sales values are given. Cost price we have to find out. So here cost price of stock cost price. The cost price formula is opening stock plus purchases minus cost of sales. So this is the opening stock 1,40,000. Purchases are 8 lakh. So 1,40,000 plus 8 lakh minus 7,80,000. You will get 1,60,000. 1,60,000 is the cost price. Similarly soya oil 2,80,000 plus 9,50,000 minus 10,30,000. You will get 2 lakh. 165 plus 12 lakh minus 13 lakh 5000 60,000 1 lakh 80,000 plus 13 lakh 50,000 plus 40 lakh 20,000 minus 40 lakh 20,000 is equal to 1 lakh 10,000 what we got in this table is cost price now we have to find out the value of closing stock valuation of stock items cost price just now we have calculated these are the cost price 160 2 lakh 60 110 160 2 lakh 60 110 market price that is given in the problem 2 lakh 1 lakh 80 thousand 45 thousand 1 lakh 20 thousand these values are given a is the cost price b is the market price now value of stock will be a or b whichever is lower whichever is less so 160 or 2 lakh whichever is less 160 2 lakh or 1 lakh 80 thousand whichever is less 1 lakh 80 60 45 whichever is less 45 110 or 120 110 total is 4 lakh 95 thousand this is the value of closing stock that's all the two problems only two problems are there on valuation of closing stock now depreciation now I am coming to the next topic that is depreciation first problem on depreciation Mr. Arvind purchased a machinery for Rs. 1,50,000 on 15th May 2020. Remember our previous year is 2020 to 21. 2021 is the previous year and assessment year is 21-22. Assessment year 21-22. Previous year 2021. Right? So here he has purchased the machinery on 15th May 2020. The government of Andhra Pradesh reimbursed 30,000 as subsidy for setting up the business in the notified rural backward area. Calculate depreciation for the assessment year 21-22. So here, Mr. Jagdish Reddy, uh, Jagdish, no, Mr. Arvind. Mr. Arvind has purchased a machinery for Rs. 1,50,000. Now, he is setting up the business in a backward rural area. If, if uh, the government has given a provision that if any person will set up the business in the backward area, the government says we will give you subsidy. And subsidy will be deducted from the purchase price of the machine. So what is the purchase price of the machine, cost price of the machine, 1,50,000 minus subsidy received from government, 30,000. Deduct. 1,20,000. 
Now depreciation will be calculated on 1,20,000 not on 1,50,000 Depreciation is calculated on 1,20,000 The normal rate of depreciation on machinery is 15% so depreciation is equal to 15% of 1,20,000, it comes to 18,000, that's it. So to determine the actual cost of the asset, subsidy received from the government is to be deducted. Subsidy received from the government is to be deducted from the purchase price. The asset is used for more than 180 days, so normal depreciation is allowed for full year. Because the asset is used for more than 180 days, so full depreciation will be allowed for one year. Right? If the asset is used for less than 180 days, we would have calculated only 50% of normal depreciation. If it is used for less than 180 days, here it is used for more than 180 days, full year depreciation is provided. Now, next problem you see, second problem. On 2nd April 2020, Mr. Bharat purchased a machinery for running the business for rupees 10 lakh. The entire amount is financed by SBI at the rate of 15% interest. Up to 31st March 2021, rupees 2 lakh is repaid by the SSC to the bank, including interest. Calculate the amount of depreciation for the current assessment year allowed as deduction as per the Income Tax Act. This SSC, Mr. Bharat, purchased a machine for 10 lakh. But this person, the SSC, has taken a loan from bank at the rate of 15% interest and up to the end of the previous year 2 lakh rupees are already repaid now it is asking you to calculate the depreciation income tax act says depreciation will be fully allowed whether it is purchased by own fund or it is purchased by borrowed fund whether the SSC has purchased the assets from his own fund or the SSC has purchased the asset by borrowing from the bank in both cases, depreciation will be allowed. So there is uh, no difference it will make if the uh, SSC has purchased the asset by borrowing from bank. Depreciation will be fully allowed on 10 lakh rupees. Normal rate of depreciation on machinery is 15%. Remember this point in the last video, theory video I have explained you that the normal rate of depreciation on machinery is 15%. So here, if the asset is taken either with own funds or with the borrowed funds, it will not make any difference to allow depreciation as deduction. So depreciation is 15% of 10 lakhs. So 15% of 10 lakh is 1,50,000. That's all. So in this video, I've explained you two problems on valuation of stock and two problems on depreciation. The next problem, inshallah, we will continue in the next video.